Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm heading over to Ham Hill Country Park where we're going to go up the Hollow Lane climb, which is a beautiful climb in amongst the trees. Had a puff coming up that hill. <laughs> it's glorious today again. It's only 15 degrees apparently. It certainly feels warmer. So I'm in the classic jersey, rocking the short sleeves, legs out, and it is glorious. So I'm cracking on a bit. Got to get back for Sunday dinner today. Uh, we're main roading at the moment. Try to cut down the distance, but it's about 66k and it should be a cracking ride. The so roads are really quiet this morning, a bit of a change to Friday and there's very little wind so so far so good. It is cracking. This is glorious. Although I should probably stop saying glorious about five times now, isn't it? <laughs> find other words Darren, find other words. my way to Long Sutton there's still not many people about it's pretty much dead this morning everybody's having a lie-in because they're all told the weather was going to be bad <laughs> but it is sensational this morning oh just got taken out by a fly <laughs> thank goodness for glasses and I'm coming up to the long low traffic lights and guess what color they're on we never hit them on green never ever No, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Oh, we made it. I'm in the wrong gear though. Bridge. Points. Put Bert and Ernie in the wall. Is that supposed to be dad's army? Oh, stupid boy. Yes, yeah, supposed to be dad's army. Got golf balls for eyes. They're brilliant. Yes, yeah, that's uh, VE Day celebrations in this village. They're pretty good. Scarecrows, if you want to call them scarecrows, everywhere. What do you call them? Mannequins? Don't know. Anyway, they're everywhere. But I saw a post yesterday on Somerset Live about a cyclist who'd cycled a shock horror 26 miles and he'd come off his bike. And the hatred for cyclists on that post was ridiculous. There was one woman who even said, how dare cyclists go out? I have to stay in. Why do they get to go out? It just made me chuckle. Everyone is allowed one form of exercise a day. You can walk, run or cycle. So don't... <laughs> Don't go moaning if you don't use your allocation to go out and get some exercise and get outside just as a hatred for cyclists. Ridiculous. I've not had any bad experiences during lockdown with regards to hatred. I did see some in the village of Lytton in Somerset. I've got to the news, but I've not seen anything. So I don't know how, whether you have, whether lockdown's been a positive or a negative experience for cycling. Put it in the comments if you've had any negative comments. <laughs> Crossing the A303, I can hear a couple of cars. But, uh, I think that's one of Somerset's busiest roads. There's only a handful of cars on it. It is a quiet morning. So there is Montacute House, built in 1598. It's a uh, Tudor home, owned by the National Trust and was actually used as a model in the Wallace and Gromit film, Curse the Wear Rabbit. It is definitely a nice house to go and have a look around. All right, so we're coming to the bottom of Hollow Lane now. Possibly one of my favorite roads in Somerset. It is stunning up through there. I won't say glorious, it's stunning. Now we'll have a punt up the climb, we'll just take in the views, because it is that good. Take a few deep breaths because it is also steep, but this is just stunning, it really is. I mean, how good is this? This is just stunning, it really is. And the view at the top it just gets better. What can I say? 
I think it says it all in it. Just majestic. There's usually an ice cream van park there. And yes, we do. <laughs> we stop for an ice cream. Why not? When the weather's like this, why wouldn't you? Coming a little bit off-road to go and have a look at the other side of Ham Hill Country Park and the views down the other side of the hill. Um, there's a few people out walking up here this morning. We'll try and avoid my, everybody. Um, I'm also on not a track suitable for my bike. I don't know what these stones are supposed to be, but uh, <laughs> It is quite nice to walk through here. Should I try it? <laughs> Made it. I don't know where I'm going now though. Oh, this, this is definitely mud. Just got a great view up here. Oh. Yeah, it's the Ham Hill Monument, if you're wondering. And uh, all the way back over to where we came from. But it is a great place to come from. <laughs> Another new road for me, I've never been here before. Parrot works, I've never even heard of it. Um, I'm going back via Thorny Lakes into Langport and uh, road out of Martok brought me here. I have no idea where this is. A pretty little village with a crematorium, apparently. There's some big, I don't even see it through the trees there, some big tower. Mm. Odd place. The wind does seem to have picked up a bit on the way back, I certainly feel that a little bit more. I recognise place names around here, East Lambrook and Stembridge. None of this actually looks any familiar at all. I don't know where I am. <laughs> New roads. Adventure. Gotta love it. So last time I was on this road, uh, we got stuck in Langport and it was flooded. It looks pretty good now though. Oh Pete, you don't think that road looks cycled on a road bike anyway? <laughs> More like a track. It's probably a good job we didn't try and uh, test to see how deep that water was. <laughs> oh, that headwind really has got up on the way back. And I've just looked at me wahoo and it's taken me up this nasty little climb up to Ham Hill. My legs aren't going to thank me now. Australia out to High Ham goes on forever. I'm looking forward to the downhill. Oh, I haven't filmed much on the way back in because I am creaking. That headwind, this <laughs> headwind's like that, you want to be cycling in the club, in a group, hiding away from that wind and only coming out when you have to. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like comment, subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.